Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a mini buying guide overview of the house of Habibi, New York. This is a house that I got to discover when I was in Dubai for Beauty World, and there were quite a few that I really liked, but it wasn't until I got home and I went through all of their discovery kits that I was hooked and I just knew that I needed to share my thoughts with you guys on this house because they're not really like a hidden gem, I don't think. Like people know about them, but I I don't know why it took me so long to really discover them because they were at Scent Explorer when I was at Scent Explorer and I guess somehow I just missed their booth and I'm really sad about it. So I'm excited to share some of my loves from them with you today. So the name Habibi New York may be a little bit misleading. They are not a Middle Eastern Arabic house. They're actually based out of the USA. So very fun. We don't see a ton of niche brands based out of the US. They're located in in the New York area. They are inspired by Arabian heritage and the modernity of the bustling, busy city of New York City. And all of their scents are crafted to evoke emotion and to stir memories. And I really fell in love with quite a few of their creations, not the entire house, but a lot of them. And I wanna share my thoughts with you. So the first fragrance that I want to discover with you is White Moroccan Leather. This is the scent that really made me want to dive deeper into Habibi New York. This was the standout for me in Beauty World and was definitely hand hands down one of my favorite luxury discoveries in beauty world. And I just want to quickly point out before I get into the scent that their price points are amazing. This bottle, which is a 75 ml, goes for $135. It is literally more affordable than most designer fragrances today. And so this is a very sophisticated feeling fragrance. It's this kind of like light and airy suede scent, like a very fresh suede with a very creamy citrus and nutmeg. It's nutmeg done in a very kind of dressy way. It's not like a mature nutmeg or like a Christmassy cooking, baking spice nutmeg. It's not really done in a gourmand way. There's just something very elevated feeling about it. And there's just something else in here it makes it so appealing. I don't know what it is. I get something like cardamom and it is glorious, you guys. And also a little bit of a sweetness, maybe a little bit of vanilla. And this has a pretty big dose of frankincense, like a really crisp frankincense. It really blew me away. And every time I smell it now, I'm just like, Mm, like it's so good. It's a really nice unisex leather too. It's just because it's so fresh. It doesn't feel like a heavy masculine scent. Like any woman could wear this, but it is amazing on a man too. So classy and just refined on a man. It's like very rich, but stylish smelling. It would be beautiful to wear. It was like a really elevated signature scent. Like you could wear this every single day. I love that creamy citrus, a frankincense, kind of like a spicy, airy leather. It's not dark or heavy at all, but it still kind of packs a punch. You're still gonna feel a little bit of weight. It performs very well. I would say it's a very head turning scent too. Like, cause it's impressive. It's not like an over the top, you know, crazy scent. It's really good and classic and a little bit unique compared to what most people are wearing day to day. I love it. So easy to wear white Moroccan leather. Oh, I still, I just, I love smelling that one. The next fragrance is Spiced Bergamot in Oris. And this is one that I really loved when I was going through the Discovery kits. And once again, it's different. It's unique, but lovable. It really has the perfect balance between being something a little bit different but not too different and still very wearable. And also a little bit exotic, like there's something in their DNA, like in their house DNA that you'll pick up on, but it's not too much or situational. They do a beautiful job of making something feel special and exotic, but not hard to wear. Something that you can just feel. And this one in particular, Spiced Bergamot and Oris, it is an amazing, amazing freshie. It just opens very bright and welcoming with this creamy kind of orris right from the get-go. And the citrus is very zesty underneath that kind of creamier texture. It's a really like 
invigorating type of scent. And this has cardamom too, which once again just brings an extreme allure and this very like attractive facet. There's just something about cardamom, you guys. Like we all know, cardamom is undeniable. This has lavender and geranium. It definitely has a little bit of a green facet, maybe even a little bit minty and a touch soapy too, but it never gets too much or too soapy feeling. It's a very grounded scent that is perfect for the office. It just smells very put together, like a suit and tie, and that's just the effect of Oris Butter. It just really elevates a scent. And why it really stood out in my memory in the Discovery Kit is, it's Oris Butter done in a way that I don't think I've smelled before because it doesn't go in any direction that it normally does. It doesn't go vegetal, it doesn't go lipsticky, and it also doesn't go like so super thick and buttery. It's really just like, right in the middle of all of these three directions that Iris Oris Butter goes in. And it's just such a unique experience. Really, really fantastic freshy. Spice bergamot and Oris. So this next scent is inspired by a night out in New York City, Urban Oud. And this one has a very electric spirit. It opens very woody and bright and spicy. And as it dries, this scent just blooms, kind of like opens up to these sexier, spicier notes in rose. There's saffron in here too, vanilla, and once again, a nice light suede note. There is a lot of depth to this scent and it just smells like a Casanova out on the town. It's mysterious and I'm gonna say it for the third time, alluring and very, very attractive. It's kind of like, melting saffron over woods on a bed of roses, like rose petals, with a hint of sweetness in between. It smells like luxury. It's a very refined smelling fragrance. It's really the type of scent that just makes you stand out from the crowd. And this definitely has a little bit of a darker, flirtier personality. It is truly perfect. Like I can easily picture the inspiration, New York City at night, Anything is possible. It's the type of scent that gets people to notice you. And I love that it's not too dark either. The rose just really lightens and lifts the scent up. It is really magical. I love, love, love Urban Oud. And so the last two scents that I wanna talk about are part of their reserve collection. And the first one is called Rare Woods Elixir. I did do a short recently talking about this one because it is like, you guys are not ready for this. They told me this is their bestseller and I can totally understand why. This is meant to capture the essence of Karak Chai, a rich blend of spices and warm woods. And when I smell this for the first time, I knew this was something that I would want to wear for the holidays, even though in my opinion, it does lean very slightly masculine. There are some darker tones to this scent compared to the other ones that I talked about. It has this really addictive, beautiful date note, kind of like sticky dates. It makes the opening of this especially, especially good. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's slightly gourmand and woody and has a really nice dose of smooth cinnamon. There's a brightness from bergamot and I get a nice mix of spices. I also smell a lot of cardamom in here. I think that Habibi New York really likes to use cardamom and also something a little tiny bit smoky, maybe something a bit resinous, but that's also what makes it a little bit darker and makes it a little bit masculine in my mind. Maybe a little bit of Cipriol because it does feel very resinous and ambery, but the dates really stand out in this scent. And you can easily, easily, easily compare this to many other very luxurious date scents. And this one has a quality that most of them do not have. For example, if you liked things like Dolce & Gabbana Luminous Night, forget it, forget it, try this. It is literally 10 times better. It doesn't smell the same, but it is 10 times better. It gets a lot more ambery as it dries, kind of like a sweet amber, and this is a beast. It has big projection and lasts all day, all night. Really great performance on the skin. It is really amazing. If you love the notes of dates, you need, like you need to try this. If you like semi-gourmand, slightly sweet, kind of resinous scents, but with a little bit of something darker, Rare Woods Elixir. And now I want to open up their discovery kit and talk about one that also really stood out to me. Honestly, there's a lot of them that I really like, but the last one that I want to highlight is called Palace Grove. So this is 
a very, very happy scent. It just makes me smile when I smell it. Oh, it smells like the most zesty, ripe, juicy, like pink red grapefruit with sugar sprinkled on top. Oh, it is so nostalgic for me. It takes me right back to my childhood because my brother and I, when we were young, we used to eat grapefruits like cut in half. We'd split them with our grandmother and she would always put sugar on top. It just takes me back to my childhood. It's crazy the effect of scent and how it can do that, like produce such vivid memories for you. There's some nice spicy white florals in here, like jasmine and something kind of magnolia-like. It smells very crisp and it almost has a bit of this kind of like clean linen vibe too, which I really like. I think I also like it because it makes me think of Miami Beach. It's kind of tropical, very fresh. It's like the perfect scent that you want to wear when you're really hot. Like when it's really hot outside, it's going to really freshen you up. And there is cardamom in here too. <laughs> Once again, that makes it feel more unisex versus being like a super floral sweet scent. It smells powerful, but tropical like a luxury vacation. Love, love, love this one, Palace Grove. But yeah, guys, that was just a quick overview of some of their fragrances. I could easily keep going. I have a ton of discovery kits from them. Overall, they are a very great house to look into. You're going to get a very high quality feeling scent. Like the whole experience feels very high quality for an amazing value. Their price points are fantastic. And it's always great to support local USA brands too. And like I showed you, they do sell discovery kits on their website. They have, I think, three or four different types of discovery kits of their different collections. And if you do purchase a discovery kit, they will send you a $25 coupon towards your order of a full size bottle if you decide to buy. So that's always nice when brands offer that. But what I also noticed on their website is that when you order a full size perfume, they actually will send you a sample with the perfume. So you can try the sample first. And if you don't like the perfume, you can return it if you didn't open it. I haven't seen a ton of brands doing that. And what that tells me is that they actually value their customer's experience. So I just wanted to point that out because I think it's very cool. It's very easy for brands to just send you a package and you know, because some of us are hashtag manic blind buyers, we like to blind buy things and we just rip open the package and then let's say you don't like the perfume or it doesn't work on your chemistry, you can't return it and you just lost all the money. So I love it when brands offer to try a sample before opening up the actual package. I can definitely do a part two if you guys are interested and they did offer my viewers a discount code ERICA10 for 10% off. But yeah guys, that was just my quick little overview of Habibi New York, I'm telling you, they really surprised me and their fragrances are really, really nice. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below which fragrance you are most interested in trying. I would love to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.